Hey there everyone, my name is Waffles the Asian Yenber and welcome to the series where we take a look at new banners on Dokkan Battle. I tell you the information and give you my opinions on whether or not you should summon on them or whether it's better to wait for a better banner in the future. So today we've got three different banners to cover. We've got this banner, this banner, and this banner. The EZA banners just came out on JP yesterday and we still haven't actually made a video for future Gohan so I'm going to just roll it all together into one video and we're going to talk about it. So short answer is do I think you should summon on these as a free to play player? No, no, and uh, maybe depending on your box. So let's go into details on why I feel that way. If we look at the EZA banner, of course we have the EZA unit. We've got Kaioken Blue Goku whose EZA is looking to be pretty darn good. Uh, I would say he's a unit that's worth having and he doesn't come back on too many banners. At least he hasn't been back in a while. Uh, but then we look at SS3 Broly, who honestly is not that good. Uh, he's the 120% extreme tech leader, but he has papers in defense. He's made to be a nuker, but he doesn't actually nuke that well. In fact, I'd actually kind of say Perfect Cell nukes a little bit better than him and is a little bit better just in general because of his defense, but we'll get into that in just a minute. Main point. Out of the 120% leaders, I think Broly is probably on the lower end. I don't think he's that valuable, and I think you could just get him on a different banner. He does come back uh, relatively regularly. Uh, not like every banner, but he is back. Um, he's come back at least a couple times in the past year, so I would recommend just waiting. Then if we look at Tech Perfect Cell, he's a redstone unit. He's a good unit. Uh, he's good on the EZA. Once he has his EZA, he's really good, but uh, as far as where you can get him, you can get him for free in most main celebrations, so I don't think he adds really any value to this banner. So if you're looking at it, you're just pulling for this Goku, and I don't know about that. I think that the chances are pretty high, I believe they are 17%, and we're going to actually take a quick look at that. So if we have uh, 0.5 featured rate divided by the 3 units multiplied by 10, because you're having 10 slots where it can be there, You've got a 16.6666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666
So I think that while he's a great leader as a unit himself, he's okay. If we look at UI Goku, UI Goku has definitely been outclassed by now. You've got AJ Ozamas, who's just the better Realm of Gods leader. Uh, and I really don't think that UI Goku adds a lot of value to this banner, particularly just because he comes back on so many different banners. Then Super Boo, Super Boo is kind of the same idea. He leads a great category. Uh, enhanced Transformation, fantastic. Best, one of the best World Tournament Team categories as well. But as a unit, you're floating him. He's not that good. He has the Boo problem where he suffers from the key links, and it's just, ultimately, he's a good category leader, he is not a good unit. Then you've got Super Vegito, which is the exact opposite. Majin Buu Saga category has kind of fallen off, it's a pretty old category, uh, but the unit itself, Physical Vegito, has survived for a long time, especially because of his counters. And so I think that he's a unit that's worth having for sure. Then. Future Gohan, physical Future Gohan, has been outclassed by the Tech Trunks, but I see why he was on this banner. He also pairs with this Tech Trunks here, since this Tech Trunks just needs any Future Gohan uh, to activate his passive. I believe he gets a 60% attack boost. I'm going to have to double check that later, but definitely I think that this Future Gohan, not the worst category leader to have, and he's relatively rare. So, main point. If you need a lot of these category leaders, it might be worth summoning a little bit. Now personally, did I summon on it? I did one multi. I got another copy of Future Gohan, which was the only leader I didn't the only leader I didn't need, but it's okay. No big deal. It's better to be unlucky on this banner than uh, luckier later on. Actually, no, that's not 100 percent true. I'm on a different account now. Okay, that's a whole thing I will explain in a little bit, but. Actually, I got Super Poo and I got Physical Vegito on this account. God, it is hard to keep up with some things sometimes. Anyways, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have a good day, good week, good life, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Oh, also, before I forget, uh, quality might be a little bit worse on this one because I have to record it entirely on my phone. My computer is very much dead. We'll talk about it in a different video. Okay, goodbye now.